If Update 2.0 was the version of Cyberpunk 2077 we saw at launch, could it have been 2020's Game of the Year? Many people have been enjoying the game since the 2.0 update, myself included, but would it have been enough to compete with the year's best games if 2077's 2.0 update was actually what launched in 2020? For one, Cyberpunk would have had a hard time beating the Game Awards 2020 Game of the Year, The Last of Us Part 2. Sony has continued to refine its single-player story-based games, and it's been proven that those games really resonate with the judges that vote for the Game Awards. And while I think the version of 2077 we see today might have held its own against other big 2020 releases like Doom Eternal, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Final Fantasy VII Remake, for me personally, there is no 2020 game that is better than Hades. Hades beautifully executes on nearly everything it sets out to do, offering exciting combat, a touching story delivered in a way that redefines storytelling in a roguelike, terrific music, as well as excellent voice acting and characters, all while meeting expectations through its early access development and release. Maybe CD Projekt Red's next game should take inspiration from Hades and release in an early access state to prevent another disappointing launch. It's easy to claim too little too late with Cyberpunk 2077, but CD Projekt Red deserves credit for committing to the game even after failing to meet expectations upon release.